Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. Now that we have covered water on the previous videos, it's time to focus on the skyboxes. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. And if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. Now, skyboxes are rendered around the whole scene in order to give the impression of a complex scenery at the horizon. Internally, skyboxes are rendered after opaque objects, and the mesh used to render them is usually a box with six textures. Now, one of the big changes in Unity 5 were skyboxes. The skyboxes work as now on Unity 5 work like a regular material but using a special, a special shader which is actually very convenient. But before we start, let's organize the project. First, I will create a new folder for skyboxes. Let's call it skyboxes. Ok, now double click to open. And now I'm going to create one more folder to hold some textures that we are going to use on the skyboxes. Okay, and finally, next step is to import the textures that we are going to use on the skyboxes. I have six, te six textures here, so I'm just going to import them to my project. And as you can see, we have some textures for the skybox. Okay, great. So now that we have all the assets in place, let's start by creating a new material. So click the, read the right mouse button over the project tab and select create from the menu and select material. Let's call it skybox one. Ok, now with the material selected, we go to the inspector and on shader, here on top, we click there and we select skybox. And as you can see we have three options, six sided, cube map and procedural. Let's start with six sided skybox. Ok, once you selected the new shader, you'll notice that we have some new parameters. On our material, you can set the tint color for the skybox. Let's change it a little bit brighter. Okay, you can set the exposure, which basically adjusts the brightness of the skybox. Let's leave it with the default value. You can also set the rotation of the skybox around the y axis, and let's just leave this as a default as well. And now, you, as you can see, you have six fields for textures. Um, what we are going to do is to place the textures that I just imported into these fields. So, I'm going to open, or maybe not, yeah right. So, I'm going to go here, select, and let me just see, sky, sky, no. Not what was the moon? Oh, okay, so moonshine was the name of the texture. So going back here, moonshine, moonshine front. Okay, we're going to select this one. Okay, basically, Unity here is giving me a warning. This texture contains alpha, but there, there is no RGBM incompatible with RTR. So what we are going to do is to click on fix now and this is going to fix the problem so no issue there. Now you're going to select back texture and we are going to select moonshine back, the same, fix, moonshine again, where is the left, here it is, fix now, right. And as you can see that, that while I'm uh, creating the skybox here, you can actually see the, the skybox being created by Unity. So I'm going to fix this and you can see right here the texture is now fixed. 
and we are still missing two up and down okay moonshine up fix now and moonshine down where it is here it is and fix now okay so we have our skybox ready it's a skybox for a a night environment and now in order to add the skybox to the scene we have two options we either add the skybox directly to the camera or we add it directly to the scene to add the skybox directly to the camera uh, we are going to select the main camera okay and now on the inspector we are going to add the skybox components here it is I just did this before so basically you click there and you write skybox and here you have the component and now we simply drag the skybox to the custom skybox and if we press uh, let me just main camera align with you and let me just press play And as you guys can see, we now have the new skybox in the scene. Now, the water is quite bright because we need to um, change these param parameters in order to match the, the skybox that we are using. But I already show you guys how to do that in the previous video, so I'm not going to do that this time. Okay, I'm going to close. Now, this is one way to do it. However, I honestly prefer to add the skybox directly to the scene, so to do that let's first remove the skybox component from the camera, remove component, ok, and now to add the skybox to the scene we go to the main menu, window, lightning, and here we have three tabs, you select the scene tab and here on the first field you have the default skybox what you are going to do is just drag the new skybox here and if we press play now we have the the new skybox in the scene now you guys probably noticed that the water now is a little bit darker well, this is happening and this is one of the reasons why I prefer to add the skybox directly to the scene is because for example the water uses the skybox in the scene for the reflection so on the previous um, when we add the skybox to the camera the, the water was still using the skybox from the scene that's why it was so bright so this is one of the reasons why I prefer adding the skybox to the to the scene directly maybe some cases where maybe more interesting to add the skybox directly to the camera but I honestly prefer by general rule I usually add the skybox directly to the scene so okay uh, perfect now so you guys remember at the beginning I told you that there were three ways you guys saw there were three ways to create a skybox if you guys remember so we have if you guys remember we had the six side the cube map and the procedural we just did the six sided we are now going to create a new skybox okay so let's create a new material and call it skybox 2 now this time on shader we are going to select skybox and cube map basically cube map was the way things were done before unity 5 if you try to create a skybox on unity 4 you you had to use a cube map so what are the difference here as you can see you still have the tint color you still have the exposure and you still have the rotation those parameters are exactly like the same we saw on the previous skybox but now instead of the fields for the textures 
you actually have a field for a cube map. But we don't have any cube map, so we need to create one. So basically we are going to create again on the project. Right click, create and we go to legacy and we select cube map. And let's call it skybox. Skybox to cube map. Okay, so on the cube map, as you guys can see, we have six, field, six fields and we are going to actually use the same textures on these fields that we used it before. So for the right field, we are going to search for moonshine right. Now I'm going to search for moonshine left and so on. Okay, up for the top. No, I guess I can't do that. Okay, left. Moonshine top, where it is here. Moonshine bottom, here moonshine down. Moonshine front, here it is. And finally, moonshine back. Okay, so now we have our cube map ready. Now we just go again to Skybox 2 and we drag the cube map to our field and okay, basically here we have it. The same exact, exactly the same exact um, Skybox we have in our scene, but this time created using a cube map. So as you guys probably agree with me, the first method is easier without using cube map so I guess this is this is uh, one of the reasons why they upgraded this now it's much easier um, now there is a third way to create a skybox and this one is to use a procedural generated skybox so let's create a new material where it is ah, here it is let's call it skybox tree and now on shader we go again to skybox but this time we select procedural and here you can see already big changes when comparing to the other ones uh, here you can see that you have a tint for the sun that you can actually change a little bit let's just leave it bright white you can set the sun strength you can set atmospheres brighter or darker so for example let's just set with this like uh, let me let's just pretend that the Sun is going down okay so perhaps if I change this yeah this one like in a in a hot summer day the sun going down okay now you can also change the color for the ground here is gray but since we have the ocean we can try to change it a little bit to blue for example this one and now you have the AGR exposure now what it's what what is this so HDR stands for high dynamic range and this is an imaging, imaging photographic technique, image photographic technique to produce a higher dynamic range of brightness. This is achieved by capturing different exposures of the su chosen subject matter and combine them into just one image. So in Unity, this is used to help to blend 3D models into the environment, and this can actually uh, improve the quality of the model in the environment. Now let's add the new skybox to the scene. So again main menu, lightning scene and we're just going to drag the new one here and press play and here we have it guys. 
a new skybox in our scene. So this is how you use skybox in Unity 5. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I see you in the next tutorial. Until then, have a nice day.